so this week we're back in the bathroom uh, we're going to wrap up the bathroom today as you can see this area is just blank it's bare it's plain and i wanted to do something to spruce it up a bit so i wanted to do something with the mirror so i saw on youtube a young lady had um, changed her mirror and of course this is a rented apartment so you can't make any permanent changes but we came up with something better she used foam board as you see here and i was trying to use foam board she got it she measured it out uh painted it and it looked really nice but it just became kind of cumbersome to me and like very difficult to get it all up looking nice where it wouldn't look sloppy and so i decided to just use the foam board for measuring the area so to speak and kind of getting an accurate count of what that would look like so this is what i came up with after taping all the pieces together um i guess you could say i could have just used the, a ruler on the mirror but i said hey since i already did all this work with the foam board i will use it as such so i came up with my measurements and was able to do that and decided to go to Home Depot before they got canceled, y'all, and got some wood. Now, this is stock footage uh, from Home Depot. I did use uh, pine wood, and I got these blocks, these wooden blocks, y'all. They were like just maybe a dollar or something each. The price is going to pop up here in a second. I got those. Um, they're also pine, and um, it was really easy to paint them and uh, to put them up. They're $1.39. And this is the wood that I use, the trimming that I use to, and I think I got a bigger size than this actually. Um, and I got like 10 feet and had them to cut it up for me. So it was about, in all about $20 to get. So then I painted with this and actually y'all, I don't have any footage of me painting it, but here is the before picture and here's the after. You see no trim there and you see where I was able to paint it. Uh, paint those wood blocks paint the um, the, the pine with that paint that you saw there that bare paint uh, probably should have stained it maybe I don't know that might have been easier because I had to use a lot of coats of paint for it to finally look good uh, maybe about three or four um, so that was this beginners whatever naivete uh, so you see these things I got uh, other little accessories for the for the bathroom and this is this area before of course again so I want to give you another look at it and here's the after of this area we added racks um, and, and I'm sorry shelves that we got also from Home Depot and then we got the the brackets under them from um, from Walmart I think they're like a dollar two dollars each now these are some curtains that I made I was searching the internet for so long looking for curtains and I decided to just go to Joann's, buy fabric, make my own curtains. You'll see there the shower curtain that was ordered on Amazon, the towel that was like the inspiration piece. And this little thing I got for fun, don't know if I'm gonna keep it there, but um, on the toilet there you can see, uh, well I kinda got off of it, but you can see that it was a, um, a, a decal that says please flush the toilet, please close the lid before you flushing. So you can see some of the things that we did to spruce up the bathroom, make it feel more like a home. Oh, also, so those shower hooks there are the same ones I had before. I just used the paint that you see um, and, and paint each one multiple colors. Now you see these little versions of these pictures that I have here that's similar with the same um, specs as the big picture. Those were my practice pictures. I was practicing before I actually did the project so uh so i before i you know went on to my big canvas oh my goodness i almost forgot to mention that for to attach the trimming and the blocks to the mirror um i used a i guess you could say an industrial grade um double-sided tape and that was my non-permanent solution. So whenever we get ready to move out of here, it'll be easy to take those down. You you guys have heard of double-sided tape, um, but this is an industrial grade that the girl at Home Depot showed me. So there are no nails involved or anything like that, no holes in the wall. So I must admit, full disclosure, we did use, um, we had to get a different kind of tape. This tape, the, the first tape we had was like a half an inch thick, the actual piece of tape itself. But um, this is one inch 
thick tape. And so that coupled with the fact that I hadn't taped the top layer of trim and blocks appropriately, I just kind of put one little piece of tape up there just to see how it's gonna look. Um, yeah, honey, I woke up one morning, all that stuff was down on the floor, I mean, down on the sink. So uh, make sure you get the right size tape for you. And also, um, uh, make sure that you tape every, put enough tape up there you know, to hold whatever you, whatever type of material you're using. I imagine if I had used the foam board, it wouldn't have mattered as much. But because I used wood, I had to use a little more tape. So find what works best for you. I hope you guys have enjoyed our bathroom makeover. It was a lot of fun to do and a lot of fun to share with you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you liked and what's going on with you. What are you decorating? Are you making uh, some changes to your bathroom or any other room in your house? Share your projects below as well. And as always, subscribe and tune back in for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.